Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Liba Sonperiki and on this channel I create content about everything to do with university life, nursing school and international student experiences. And if this would be the type of content that you'd be interested in, definitely subscribe down below. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about study tips for pharmacology. If you did not see my video from last week on how to study for human biology, also known as anatomy and physiology, I would highly suggest that you also go watch that video because, you know, it's a two-in-one package on how to study for the most difficult modules in nursing. Pharmacology is the study of how a drug works on the body and how the body uses that drug and the resultant side effects that occur because of this relationship. So in pharmacology terms, this is known as your pharmacodynamics and your pharmacokinetics. So these are very important terms that you need to know and understand about pharmacology. If you understand how the drug works on the body, the type of receptors it enters into, how it affects that receptor, what the body does to the drug so that it's absorbed and does what it needs to do, and the resultant side effects. And these side effects occur as a result of the different receptors that are being activated or deactivated and that sort of thing. So please make sure that you understand those very two important terms. You need to understand that pharmacology is a very difficult module to understand because of two reasons one it's a lot of information that you need to get your head around you're never going to learn all the medications you're never going to learn every single side effects that occurs and as a result because of that whole overwhelming effect it can make it very difficult for you to study pharmacology and the second reason why pharmacology is difficult to study is because of the four main mistakes that students do the first one is cramming you can never cram pharmacology yes you can do it in the short term but because of the large amount of information that you need to get in it's not sustainable and because pharmacology is like a pivotal point in your nursing care you're going to be administering this medication you can't be cramming because you're not going to remember it long term you need to understand how this drug works because that will also help you to provide the best care for your patients the second mistake is that you're trying to learn every single drug and every single indication you're trying to learn every single side effect if you're going to use that method you're going to be studying pharmacology to infinity because there is so many side effects there's so many medications and they're constantly being updated there's constantly new medications coming in so please do not do that i'm going to be giving you tips on how to counteract that but that is another mistake that you need to watch out for the third mistake is that you're not using the opportunities in the world to learn this medication when you start doing pharmacology this would be in your second year and most probably you're going to be in a general nursing discipline whether that's medical and surgical as it is your second year it is the first time that you're going to be using medications the first time that you're learning medications please make use of those opportunities if the sister or the staff nurse the cspn is doing medication walk around with them you need to learn you need to see the medications physically because you might think it's easy to remember the theory but it's so much easier to try to remember the medication because you have seen it you've touched it you know the color you know the type of patient that you're giving it to you know their diagnosis and because you're making all those connections it becomes much easier for you to remember medications because you have seen it and i know some words that don't want second years to get involved but just walk around observe see the type of medication that the patient is getting into or just read the patient's file and see the type of medication that is written up in their blue board then just go to the medicine trolley and try to find that medication so that you familiarize yourself with those type of medications and the last mistake is you do not understand the mechanism of action of the drug you do not understand what the drug does when it gets into the body so that's why i was reiterating in the beginning that you need to understand your pharmacodynamics and your pharmacokinetics because you need to understand that interaction between the drug and the body and what the drug is doing to the body and how the body is reacting because if you understand the mechanism of action it's much easier for you to figure out what the side effect is going to be for example you've got what is known as your beta receptors and these beta receptors they allow you to increase the heart rate of the patient and the contraction of the heart and if you're giving a patient a cardiac medication that's a beta blocker you know that you're going to decrease the heart rate you're going to decrease the contractility of the heart and as a result you're going to decrease 
the blood pressure because you have decreased the blood pressure sometimes the blood pressure can go so low that it causes you to be dizziness it can cause you to have nausea and as a result if you can understand that or you can rationalize that it's much easier for you to learn the side effects because if you know the mechanism of action you know what the drug is doing and you can sort of figure out what the side effects will be so for the rest of the video i'm going to be giving you tips and advice on how to rectify those mistakes so that it's much easier for you to be able to learn pharmacology once you rectify those mistakes trust me pharmacology is going to be so much fun so first strategy i've already mentioned it learn your pharmacodynamics and your pharmacokinetics i'm not going to explain this again second thing is you need to learn what your receptors do so in the body we've got different receptors you've got alpha you've got your beta you've got your calcium channels and all of those things so you need to know what all of those receptors do what happens if you block them what happens if you stimulate them because all the drugs that you're going to be learning they're going to be interacting with all these different receptors so if you know what the receptor does if it's blocked then what is the resultant effect if it's stimulated what's the resultant effect and most of the time you can figure out what is going to be the resultant side effect of that third tip is that you need to learn your drugs in their classes or the groupings that they are put Put in other than trying to learn each individual drug so you've got a certain group of drugs that will have a similar mechanism of action so they will have a similar indication and they will have similar side effects so as a result you take the different classes that you have and each class will usually have some similarities in how they are named so for example you've got certain antibiotics that end in ectum then you know those are together then you've got your beta blockers that end in Allow, then you know those are your beta blockers they are grouped together they'll have a similar mechanism of action and side effects so if you learn clauses you can learn like five different drugs in there because they've got the same suffix and as a result you don't have to learn five different side effects because they all have similar side effects so another tip that i can give you is that you can make use of flashcards so you can take the different classes so for example you've got your cardiac drugs and then under cardiac drugs you have your beta blockers you've got your alpha blockers and then you create flashcards for those different classes that you have because there's just going to come a time where you just need to do word memorization of the medications and flashcards would really help you to be able to go through those medications because with pharmacology you definitely need to dedicate a lot of time to studying it because there's a lot of information there's a lot of things that you need to remember so you need to be dedicating that time and flashcards really help you to do that on a regular basis without revisiting five million pages flashcards are easy and accessible another tip is that you can make use of mnemonics or acronyms or anything or any rhyme that's going to help you remember a lot of medications i'll just put a few here on the screen just to help you you can google there's so many out there that people have made the next thing is that you need to create mind maps so back to the cardiac drugs if you can write cardiac drugs then you can write different classes of drugs that fall under that so mind maps just help you to bring everything to life everything on one page so that you're not so overwhelmed with everything that's going to be happening another tip i feel like i reiterate this so many times study groups they really help because you're interacting with each other you have different explanations you can even bring their flashcards there and you test one another out so that it's easier for you to revise those medications because they are a lot and if you guys can come together one person makes a flashcard and you do another set and someone else does a set and then you guys just share among each other so that you're not doing all the flashcards you know we gotta work smart here and not have to do everything by ourselves another tip is practice questions i feel like i reiterate this so much like if i could have this as a banner on my channel i would honestly i'm not going to reiterate more on this tip because i have said it so many times please do practice papers like i said in my video last week do the previous five years your lecturers are going to forever rotate those questions one it's more practice for you and two there's a higher chance that you're going to see the same question and you already know the answers because you have seen them hashtag cheating the system and the last tip that I can give you is you need to bring pharmacology to life. We are constantly bombarded with medication everywhere. Whether you're shopping, your friend is going to have some form of medication, you've got a medication cupboard in your house, you are going to be taking medication yourself. Learn the medications that are around you. The more you're familiarizing yourself with the things that you can see, that you can physically touch, that you've experienced with, you can even feel the side effects 
in your own body if you're a person who reacts quickly to medication or you can think of a past experience whatever you need to do bring the medication to life and if you're the one who's buying the medication usually they'll have an insert inside them so that you can read you can see the side effects and that sort of thing so just be more collaborative with it get your family involved if someone's got a new medication speak to them about the side effects you know provide that health education with the community that you have around you because the more you see the information the more you make use of it the more that it comes out of your mouth the more you're forcing your brain to let that information come out the easier it will be for you to remember that information with anything that you're going to learn the more times you see it the more times you say it the more times you try to remember it the easier it will be for you to remember that information so these are all the tips that i have for you on how to study pharmacology don't forget to see the video that i did last week about anatomy and physiology because you can actually make use of the tips that i gave you in that video and also how to study pharmacology and vice versa comment down below your favorite tip the one that you're going to be introducing into your study routine and let me know how pharmacology is going how you're finding it but i really hope that you make this an enjoyable experience because i know it's going to be overwhelming but if you make it fun it's not going to be as exhausting and it's not going to be as tedious for you and you know you must have fun because you're going to be giving these medications to your patients and as a result you need to know your medications it's the most important part of nursing you do not want to be killing anybody i really hope this helps you until next week friday 4 p.m south african time have an awesome semester guys and i wish you all the best bye <laughs>